Hello my friends, my name is LazyJet and today in this video I'm going to be showing you guys what I've been doing for the past couple of weeks. There is a reason why I haven't been doing much video recording, train racing or live streaming is because I've been having a lot of technical teller, technical teller, I can't speak. I've been having a lot of technical difficulties with my computer sadly and it needed a clean up so what happened was is I accidentally got rid of everything I had on Train Simulator. All my custom routes, all my reskins, gone. Everything is gone. So I had to download all my DLCs that I bought over the years all over again. I had to download them which was, took a very long time. It actually took me up to two days to get everything back. I have lost my LaserJet Railway, which is a real big shame because I, re I loved that railway. It took, me, it took me about six weeks to build. I have lost my Didcot route and a few other things, but the point is is I've lost everything that I've worked for for the past couple of years on YouTube and on TrainSim, and everything's gone, which is, is, is sad and it's a shame. But does LaserJet give up? No, because what I do, well, you guys are going to like this, but I have been rebuilding again. Because most of you loved LaserJet Railway so much, I thought, let's build a new one. So we have, we have got a brand new railway. Now I have got a live stream coming out this weekend, but I thought I'd make a video for you guys to, let you, to keep you guys updated because you guys have the right to know what I've been working on for the past couple of weeks now. So let me give you guys a tour of the new LaserJet Railway. And before I get started, I just want to let you guys know that I have been live streaming me building this route. So I've actually made a cool series on Twitch of me actually building this whole route from scratch. So if you guys actually want to check out that series, uh, I'll leave a link in the description below. And you guys can actually see of how I built this route. In case of those of you who are wanting to build your own in the future one day. Who knows? So this place is called Myatt's Mile because... I don't actually know why it's called Myatt's Mile. I let all my fans choose the names for my railway. Because I thought, you know, my fans are awesome and they deserve to name stuff for me. And they always give me a hand. So this place is called Myatt's Mile. And it's got a little bit of Didcot in here, which is pretty cool. So... That should be quite cool. We've got... We, I mean, we got... Dilla. Can't speak. What's wrong with me? Can't speak. Can't speak. Can't speak. <laughs> So, it's got a bit of Didcot in here, which I think is pretty cool. And it's because because Didcot, you can actually like walk around, and I've got like this really cool pathway so you can actually explore and look around if you wanted to. Do. So, Mines Mile is just a small little town, really. It's nothing too exciting, but it is, it is very peaceful here. I don't know if you guys can hear the birds as well. I mean, the, pe the birds are very peaceful. But you guys can't see this because it's obviously like lagged out, but it is actually, but it is here. This is actually a turntable, so engines could, well, use the turntable. And. We've got two stations, because everyone loves a two-station station. station Two-platform station, that's what, two-platform station, that's what I meant to say. And if you guys notice, we have the Royal Scott here. This is going to be for our live stream on the weekend, which is going to be amazing. So thumbs up for, for, for the Royal Scott. As you leave Myatt's Mile, you get this lovely long bit of straight, well, a curve, really, that goes straight out to the countryside. And who does not like a countryside? I sure do. And it's just miles and miles of fields and hills and plants and trees and everything so you know it's a countryside it doesn't really need much it just needs trees and grass and fields that's it that's all the countryside is and as you get deep into the countryside you come up to this little town and you get this amazing bridge which i nicknamed it the twin bridge and this bridge is actually based off the bridge at alton because the flying scotsman cross it to reopen alton at the watercrest line so it's got a bit of uh, the mid hands railway the mid hands railway sorry it's got a bit of mid hands railway in here as well so you've got a bit of didcot and we've got a bit of uh, mid hands Railway in there as well. So that's pretty cool. And if you guys have noticed as well that this railway does have double track. And there is actually a railway in Britain. It's the only one in Britain that actually has double track. I think it's called Great Central Railway. I think it's called something like that. And it's the only preserved railway that has that, that that's actually a main line. That's not a single track. It's got a double track. I think it's the only one working in Great Britain at the moment. What's it called? Um, Great Central Railway. I think. If, I could, if I'm wrong, then I'm wrong. You guys are going to hate me if I'm wrong. But I think, I think I'm think i right. I did my research. So it's got a little bit of um, Great Central Railway in here as well. So that's good. I mean, who does not like double track? I mean, it's a, it may be a, a small railway, but it certainly isn't a branch line. It's not messing around. So after the Twin Bridge, you reach this station. And we've named this place. You guys are going to find, find this funny. We have named this place East Bridge Parkway. Which, as, as again, my fans chose these names, not, not me. So... You know, for those of you who have, if, if, if you're the one who actually chose East Bridge, East Bridge Parkway, uh, well done. Because, you know, you're, you're now going to be famous on the channel from now on. Because this is, um, this is now on Lazy Jet Railway, East Bridge Parkway. So whoever thought of his name, well done, mate. You're famous. But it's still just a little town. And it's, it's, it's a nice town. I mean, it's, I mean, you don't really need much. All you need is people and cars and houses. And that's it. That's all the town is, really. So 
Still pretty nice. And you've got some hills in the background, which is still pretty much good for detail. I mean, you do want some detail in this, don't you? So let's leave Eastbridge Parkway. Let's go on to our next part of the route. You guys are going to love the next one because this is actually one of my favourite parts. And after Eastbridge Parkway, we have reached the seaside. Now, this has got a little bit of Riviera line in it, actually. So a lot of different railways from Britain all slammed into one railway. I think that's pretty cool. But this took me ages to build. I'm not going to lie. It took me about... I think it about took three and a half days for me to build this actual part of the route. But I still haven't given the beach a name yet. We need we need a name for my, for, for my beach and the seaside. So if you guys got any ideas of names for this part of the route, uh, leave your ideas in the comment section below and I'll be sure to read it. Because I am actually looking for some more ideas of what to name parts of my route. I mean, we need a good name like Sandown. But that's at the Isle of Wight, I think. I don't know if you guys can hear a bit of seagulls in the background. No, no, I don't think you can. But... Apart from that, looking quite good. So for someone who has autism and ADHD, I think I've done alright so far. But that's not the end yet. So after you leave the beach and continue on our amazing journey, we actually have some parts of the new forest in here, which I think is cool because it's just one big, long forest that goes on for miles and miles and miles and miles. I think I might have done a little bit too much like in trees and stuff, but... Apart from that, I think it looks alright. So I thought we'd put some sort of level crossing here so cars can... Because bridges are quite boring. Well, no, they're fun, but they can be a bit boring. So I thought a level crossing might be more interesting. And look, there's a guy waving. Hello. So let's continue. And this is actually a very... This is, I think this is the, like, the longest part on my route. There's just massive bit of straight. And after this long bit of straight, you start entering this little hilly bit. And we actually have two little bridges. We've got one. And we got two. So yeah, that's not bad. And for our final station, this is actually the end of the line, unfortunately. But this is Jetstream Cross. I thought, because I was live streaming on Twitch, and my, my name is LazyJet, and I was live streaming, I thought, Jetstream Cross. So it's got like a little bit of King's Cross in there, does so that make sense? So I decided to name it Jetstream Cross. It doesn't actually cross anywhere or anything. But... As I said, you know, it's still a lovely little... It's, it's, it's actually quite a big town. I mean, there's this football stadium over there. I mean, who's not like a football stadium? We've got a horrible construction site because this place is still being rebuilt. So, because this route is still, you know, under construction, I thought I'll add a construction yard. So, it's, this route isn't actually finished yet because of the construction site. But it still looks good. We've got a siding and we've got a graffitied uh, Mark 1. Now, this is something I made for fun. I actually made a Mark 1 that's got graffiti all over it. So, I hope you guys do like the, the, the graffiti Mark 1. I'm going to show that on the stream as well this weekend. So, you have nothing to worry about. But there you have it, my friends. This is the new LazyJet Railway. I thought I'd give you guys a quick talk before the actual live stream actually happens. But um, make sure you tune in for that at 6 p.m. UK time. I think it's Eastern time, I think. No, not Eastern time. I don't know. I really don't. I don't know. But yeah, 6 p.m. UK time. Live stream happening on YouTube on Saturday. Please be there because um, it's the it's 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 the grand opening. It's the first opening for LazyJet Railway. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I mean, it's not a very long video. I mean, it's just to give you guys a little um, tour of what you expect from the new LazyJet Railway, and to let you guys know why I haven't been uploading as much or doing live streams as well. So do apologise for that. But you know, I have been very busy, as you can clearly see. And what's amazing is that this route only took me. A week and a half to build, including doing reskins and whatnot and everything. So in fairness, I think I've done good. I'm very proud of myself. But I hope you did enjoy this video, my friends. Make sure you click that little subscribe button and turn the little bell notification on as well, so you stay notified to the channel. And make sure you follow me on Twitter and Instagram and Twitch. We're doing well on Twitch at the moment. We've got we just hit 525 followers on Twitch. So make sure you follow me on Twitch and keep supporting me because Twitch is doing all right at the moment. Let's see if we can get to a thousand followers on Twitch. Let's see if we can do that. Thank you again so much for watching, my friends. Make sure you tune in for this weekend's live stream because it's going to be good. But have a good day, my friends. And remember, it's all about the game. And I'll see you next time. Bye.